Hi, this is Oliver and welcome to our quick start guide to Transition Master and Transition Master Pro. So for this tutorial, it doesn't matter if you are work on uh, DaVinci Resolve, uh, After Effects, Premiere Pro or Nuke. I will showcase you how to get started with the plugin. So first, if you install Transition Master, we are here in DaVinci's Resolve. You find that in OpenFX and under Illumi, you find both versions, the Transition Master Pro and the Transition Master. Please keep in mind, the Pro version is to build your own uh, dynamic transitions directly in your host application and we will go through these settings in the in-depth tutorial and the transition master is uh, likely more than uh, a player for all the presets you build in the pro version uh, for example if you're a small studio and you have two or three places where you cut your footage then you only need one pro version and you can uh, install the transition master player version on the other workstations to save money and budget so that's uh, the difference between those two both work the same so I will showcase you that first you drag that onto your cut and you will see it behaves like a native transition should be you can uh, manipulate the length of the transition of course and uh, if you have selected your transition you got the OpenFX panel and in the player version you got all the presets they come with transition master or with all the presets you built in the pro version and you have that always by your side and you simply drag uh, click on that for example, let's say a block horizon A and you have the transition and let's make a preview to showcase you how fast that works. Here we go. This is the transition. And one thing to keep in mind is that Transition Master always works over the whole canvas. That means this footage is a cinemascopic view and you will see here we have transitions from this footage which is bigger so this is full screen 16 by 9 and this is uh, got these uh, black borders here and uh, so to have a smooth transition make sure that each uh, footage size fits to your canvas so in this case I simply click this footage and zoom it up and you will see the transition behaves like it should be and let's make again a preview you see it's very very fast and that's it. So let's have a look at the pro version. I drag that onto this uh, cut here and if I click on the uh, transition I got my OpenFX panel here and of course I have my presets so I can probably work always in the pro version. Uh, I have all my presets here and here I have all the settings to manipulate the transition or to build a complete new transition from scratch and save that as a preset to reuse it each time I use my uh, my cut software okay and here are a lot of things I will go through all these settings in our in-depth tutorial so make sure to check that out and let's have a look how this thing works in Premiere Pro nothing special here the same like in the DaVinci's Resolve you have your uh, video transitions you find a folder called Illumi and here you have both versions the master and the pro version Let's take the pro version, drag that onto the footage and you will see like a native behavior of a transition. Uh, you can click that, you can manipulate the length of the transition of course and if you click on the transition you got all the settings here and you got all the presets here to move uh, to choose from or here all the settings to build your own transition. The cool thing is each transition you build with Transition Master and you'd like to share them between two uh, different host applications like uh, DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro or After Effects all works the same so you can build one transition in Premiere Pro and one of your uh, freelance uh, artists or whatever who works with uh, Premiere Pro or After Effects or DaVinci or Nuke can reuse them and they will have exactly the same style like you built them up so you can build own transitions and share them uh, cross-platform wise as you like to okay we have a slightly different behavior in After Effects, so let me showcase you that. If you are in After Effects, we have two clips here. This uh, man on the battle ropes and this uh, steel factory here. And if you like to blend between those two clips, uh, you find in the uh, Effects and Presets panel, if you tap in Transition, you can find the Transition Master and the Pro version again. Uh, let's drag that onto the footage. And this is how it looks like so there is nothing happened so far because uh, first you have to specify the target layer in our case it's not the man because this is where the effect happens and the target layer is the um, the steel hammer 
And now if you go through this transition um, percentage here, you can see what, hap what, what happens. This is the basic start, which is a normal blend transition. And here you have again the presets or here all of the settings uh, to manipulate the presets or to build your own transition. And here you got the presets, let's say uh, block horizon E. And if you choose a preset, the transition automatically goes to the half so that you can see what happened here and you can play with the settings and it's not keyframed so far, okay? So if you like to have this transition over time, you go to your start point, click the stopwatch, go to the end point, bring it to 100% and that's it. Here we go. This is the transition. And if you like to manipulate settings and you're in the pro version, you simply can, of course, manipulate these settings. For example, you'd like to have some glitchy flickering here. Uh, simply go to um, post process. We have a camera shake mode. We choose the chromatic aberration and you got a glitchy effect on top of this transition. And you see how fast and easy that is. And Keep in mind you can use that of course uh, you can use this of course for PNG files for um, fade ins for anything you'd like to have in your post production so it not only is uh, useful for blending between two video sequences you can use this also to blend between text sequences animations or whatever you like to so this is very handy in uh, the different uh, ways uh, you like to do your uh, VFX production and the same for Da Vinci. Uh, and for Premiere Pro, make sure you use this also for titles. Let me showcase you that. Let's go to our titles, bring in a text layer in DaVinci. Okay, here we go. Let me drag that here. I click onto my text, type in Transition Master, and I simply go to my Open FX, go to my Transition Master Pro, drag that onto my text, give it a little more length, and choose for my presets, let's say, Glitch Text 2. And here we go. You will see there is no uh, clip underneath that. That's just because we have some blur effects on that and for this I simply have to choose uh, in the text the transfer mode. Therefore I go to the video mode and choose simply add and here we go. This is how it looks like. Preview. This one second. It's easy as that to have a cool text title animation directly inside um, DaVinci Resolve. There's no need for Fusion or to any, use anything other. So you can use this and you can check out the presets or you can build your own text presets, save them and reuse them. So you got the option to uh, animate your uh, titles, your lower thirds, whatever you like to. And the same, pre the same procedure is of course for uh, Adobe's Premiere Pro. So hope you like the quick start guide and make sure to watch the in-depth tutorial. Make sure to follow us on our website or on AA scripts. And for all the news, you can subscribe to our newsletter. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed Transition Master. Hope you got a lot of fun and a lot of time saving and a lot of cool dynamic uh, transitions within the next projects. See you next time. My name is Oliver. Bye.